Okay, folks, by special request, y'all have requested that I take this thing apart and show you what the wiring looks like. Now, this is the pump to the flat tire over there, the portable jacuzzi. Now, that was supposed to be new when we bought it, but it came with an optional three or four little hidden patches where it had holes in it, and now it's flat tire now I knew this was used I call this the shocker and you know when I got it and got to thinking about it folks it scared me so much that we never used it. it this thing was never hooked up to that while we were in there it was totally unplugged what have you well, I mean it was hooked up but it wasn't plugged in we didn't use it we just used it to uh, to inflate the thing because see what's happened is this thing used to be a touch screen with the readout and all that stuff you know so if you reach over and your hands are wet it was solid and somehow or another this thing gets fried they make their way to the Philippines they drill four holes and put these switches in there so some of you have requested that I open it up and show you exactly how they rewired this du this dude so that's what I'm gonna do. And I guess it's got two, it's got this top thing here. So I'll take these screws off and take a look at that. And I guess we can take this off and see what that looks like. And we're gonna check it out. So thanks for joining me. So let me get those screws off of there. I've got the only, basically the only tool that I've got here. This, is a, this has been a great Leatherman. It's called a Leatherman Kick. I've had this thing over 10 years. I don't know if it'll focus on that. I broke off the bottle opener. Can't remember what I was doing. Anyway, that's been a great light Leatherman. I wish I had another one just like it because my bottle opener on here. I mean, I could still use, use it to open the bottles, but the actual bottle opener broke off. What a great piece of gear, though. Right there. All right, so let me get the screws off and I'll show you the reveal of what the wiring looks like on this little rewired unit here, refurbished. Admittedly, I'm not an electrician. I know about basic wiring, basic wiring principles. Um, this thing, it does have the, the plug in it here. What they call this a GFCI ground fault circuit interrupt. Uh, I can't remember. Anyhow, so you have to reset it. You do have to reset it for the thing to work. So this is the original cord. I'm not disputing that. But the, these, this is an option added here in the Philippines. And maybe it's legitimate. Maybe it's legitimate that, you know, if you reach over there while you're chilling with your wet hand, drinking your beer, and you drop water down in there while you flick the switch, that you won't die. I don't know. But some of y'all are electricians. Once I pop the top on this jewel, you'll be able to tell us whether or not it is wired safely. But... It just uh, concerned me to the point that we did not enjoy the bubbles. I don't want my headstone to read. This dude lived a long life until he was dumb enough to get shot. Okay, let's see what we got here. Alright, so there you go. That is what it looks like so see again all it looks like the whole let me see the camera here okay so it looks like that whole little touchpad module or whatever is, is not even there now let's see here are they soldered soldered on there yeah there's they're soldered 
So this guy here, this dude here seems to have a little battle damage. Got some cuts in the wiring there. So there you go, just some basic soldering. Hmm. So any of my electrician buddies out there, let me see if I can get you a good view. I'm trying to hold a camera still here. That's what we got going on, where the touchpad used to be. No, it doesn't look like, I don't know if there's any silicone in there or not. It looks like, I mean there's a rubber seal on the outside, I'll give them that, there's a little rubber seal. But it appears to me that if you reach over there with a wet hand, that water is just dropping, dripping right down through there. What do y'all think? Okay, now let's take a look down in here and see what we've got going on. And it looks like that white thing right there is what used to plug in to the brain or the controls and it's just loose. Alright, so so there you go. So a mess of wires. So what we'll do since we looked at that, we'll just go ahead and continue on and take these off and take a look from there. How about that? Now we took the screws off of this guy. Pull the lid off. Oh shit. And we'll take a look at the wiring here. Just to the side. Come over. Here. There we go. Alright, so there we are. Um a no rubber seal around this thing. And here you go. This is the original controller, I would say, and it's just loose. Now, everything in here looks new. It looks new, it looks clean, but I'm thinking this is the original controller, I'm assuming low voltage, that plugged into the brain up there. And they've changed things up. Okay, so here we go. So there's two little wires right there that are cut that are just loose. Okay. They're just they're just laying right there. So all of these wires coming into this guy right here so there you go all my electrician buddies I hope I'm getting you a good view here like I said all, all the stuff inside looks looks fairly new but what concerns me is when you have water coming into this thing because you've got the water that comes in here uh, and it goes out here I think that's how it works yeah it comes in this is the intake this is the outtake of the water so you have water coming through this this heating element supposedly and you just got wires sticking out right there all right so let's take this cap off <laughs> Pop is making a video sweetie take that screw off that screw off and see how these wires are wired into there all right so I just took out that screw and that screw let's see if this will come off of here oh yeah too easy okay so that's just that's just the cover just the cover now let's see what we got here where are these running into okay so there you go so all all of these wires one two three four five Did I count that right one two three four five 
two, three, four, five. So all five of these wires, which run up to the switch, are just hardwired into this control unit here. We just added these in. I don't think these are original wiring. They just don't seem to be. Because you can look at the original wires, they're clearly labeled A, B, C, D, E, all that. And they just put these jumpers in there. You know, my electrician friends, am I, am I telling this straight or am I not telling it right? Does it seem that these are, these are just, they just put these wires in here. And this was actually the original controller to turn on the pump, the heater, the temperature for the heater, and the bubbles. I think that's what, what's happening. So, let's, all right, so this thing will actually come out of here. So that's the control module. Got these wires coming off. So see, you got these two here that are just cut. You see, all this looks like the original. All that looks like original wiring to me. This is your addition here, straight into it. So, my electrician friends, is this a death trap that I suspect? Or am I wrong? And would you feel comfortable putting your wet hand on top of those switches right there while you're drinking a beer and water drips down and you hit a switch? Would you be comfortable with that? I, I'm not. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm tearing this thing apart. You know, just my, you know, my suspicions, I, I wouldn't sell it, I wouldn't give this thing away. And just like I said in previous videos, I'm going to destroy it where people can't use it. Because I don't want somebody to be sitting in their, uh, their jacuzzi if they dig this thing out of the trash and get themselves fried. So there's the power pack there, see? Another view. It's there. Uh, I don't know if I can pick this up or not. Let me try to see if I can get the whole thing out of there. Maybe. All right, so I'll take those screws out and that one. One, two, three. Looks like some screws may be missing. I don't know, but I'll take that out and we'll drive forward. All right, so I got the screws off of there. And here's the bottom of it. So it looks like that was probably from the factory, right? That, that makes sense. And then all of this stuff in here. I mean, everything looks brand new. Everything seems to be brand new. Except for the wiring. Right, so if anybody wants to take a look at the model number, these things 220 to 240 volts and folks was it 850 watts on the heating that's what they say it's not 110 over here folks it's 220 and I got shocked with 220 I got shocked with 220 and I'm here to tell you it is no joke it is absolutely no joke all right, let's see if we can pop this off. I think I can pop that black cover off. And we'll be able to see in there better. Yep, sure can. All right, so this cover comes off. Now you can see a better view of how they jump these things in there. These five wires. Put some electrician or electrician-minded individual put in there. But again, this appears to be the controller, the original controller, going up to the touch pad up top. And then this is the one here that's cut. So see, that thing was cut and loose. And for all my electrician friends who know what they're looking at, there you go. 
There we are right there. And I'll take a photo of it. So look, I guess, I guess this is my argument, look. This cord right here, which is plugged into the wall, which here in the Philippines is 240 volts, right? Okay. That damn thing is plugged into the wall. There it is right there. Now it comes into this box and is wired in there. And then it jumps over to the to the inverter right there, which steps that to 12 volt DC. But you got this thing on top of here with these four holes drilled in this damn thing. And there's water coming through those holes <laughs> right down there. I, I just, I'm not cool with that. I'm just, I, you know, I'm not fucking cool with that. And that's why I didn't use it. I shouldn't have bought it, but I knew it would be an adventure and a learning experience. And I'm in the YouTube game, so it provided a lot of stuff for the channel to talk about this stuff, right? But either way, that thing is plugged into 240 volts. And if you ride the lightning on 240 volts, my goodness, I thought I was dead that day. Go back and play that video. Um, it ain't no fucking joke. So, okay, you got this safety mechanism. What if this thing fails? Those wires and water going down in there. Fuck that. There you go. There you go. So, moral of the story don't buy a secondhand inflatable jacuzzi here in the Philippines. Taking your life in your own fucking hands. That's my opinion. That's how that's going to end up every time. Okay, let's begin the process to demill this thing or it can't be used like this again. You're dealing, you're dealing with water and electricity and a homemade rewiring job in the Philippines. No. All right, so there you go. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna do a little water test. Okay, so you see, this is dry, right? We're just gonna pour a little water on this and see if these things do in fact leak. Let's do, let's make it, do a test with it. All right, so here's a real world test. So you can see that's dry as a bone right there, right? Maybe I should get a piece of paper. All right, there you go. Dry piece of paper, straight out of the printer. And I got this thing kind of on a slope, so if it runs off of here, to be fair, it'll run down here and you won't have any water up this direction. All right, so say, say I'm chilling in a hot tub, I'm chilling. I reach over while I got some beer and I, fl and I flick that switch right there, right? Just a little bit of water. A little bit more. I flick that switch right there. Flick that switch. With that switch okay scientific test now obviously it ran off here the question is oh no could they be waterproof hmm but I think this will be the better test okay I'm gonna dry this off I'm going to turn it upside down and we'll see if it holds water. Alright, so dry that off. Make sure it's dry. Okay, it's dry. And we'll just take this dude here. Just pour a little bit of water in there where those switches are. See if it's truly... Whoa, whoa! Whoa! whoa. Is it truly waterproof? Whoa, four switches right there. See, my point proven. 
that some bitch right there if you reach over there with enough water it's dripping down into this here unit where it's plugged into the damn wall with 240 volts let's do that again now let's come over here let's see let's put that up there we'll just try to get a right angle on the dangle so you can see the water going in oh lord that's leaking from all all four switches look at that we will get it on my camera there you go leaking from all four switches and it looks like the bottom no it's the switches There you go, folks. Switches are definitely 100% not waterproof. Want to see it again, or y'all believers now? One more time. Very good right there. Every switch leaks. All right, let's work on the D mill. Because, folks, if I don't tear this thing up properly, they'll try to take it out of the trash, put it back together, and sell it, sell it to the, the next man. So, I want to demill it to the point where they can use the components in other applications, but they can't put this thing back together and sell it as a, uh, as a hot tub. So, I got the coconut chopper here. And I'm just going to start chopping on this guy. Get my safety glasses on. There we go. That coconut chopper. Should have no injuries here. More chops. Look at the power of the coconut chopper. Look at this guy. Oh shit, get my safety glasses on. That's hard plastic. Let me show you the power of this thing. Look at that. Straight through it. Just knocked it out of the park. Almost all the way through. Man, I'm gonna mess up my favorite kitchen utensil. Well, this has got to be done, folks. This has got to be done. This side. Almost. Almost all the way down. Success. Look at that. Look at that. So all you rewiring dudes, good luck on trying to fix that and sell it to the next guy. Good luck to you. Alright. Make sure they can't reuse this. Oh, shit, the Gerber Strong. That's, that's some tough acrylic right there. My goodness. I'm gonna break this thing. Damn, you can't even break that thing. Even the coconut chopper couldn't take it. Hmm. 
Well, there's a closer look. Closer look at your switches. So, no silicone around there. They just put them in there. I thought they had a rubber seal, but there's no rubber seal. It's just plastic in there. That's why they leak. There you go. Alright folks, there we go. Been demilled enough where it can't go back together for the purpose of powering that thing. Scrappers will take the parts out. They'll uh, recycle what they can. The copper, probably try to reuse the, uh, the water pump. Um, but anyhow, nobody's going to nobody's gonna buy this thing now if they put it back together, if they tried to. If you do, and you see big chunks of it out like that, and this thing is, is busted in half then it's pretty pretty quite clear <laughs> it's been re-engineered and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the uh, the circuit board here I'm gonna throw that in the trash can across town and probably that thing in another trash can and I'll put the rest of this in my trash and that's the end of that right so Maybe asking yourself, uh, why did I just destroy the unit, the pump unit, to the portable jacuzzi? Well, it's like this. Like I said, folks, a few years ago, I had a little incident where I rode the lightning, 240 volts. Uh, it was about the end of me. About it felt like the end so I don't fuck around with electricity especially over here now yeah I, I knew when I bought this thing that it had been rewired but I'm looking at the switches and a lot of things I do here are for entertainment and learning value it's not because I'm trying to go out and get a good deal on a jacuzzi inflatable jacuzzi at that I got two kids. Ain't nothing inflatable around here gonna last more than a month. Okay, so um, a lot of things I do is for entertainment value. That's why I went for it. I was like, you know what? Get a month use out of it. <laughs> do a review on it. Let the kids swim in it for a little bit. It's all good. I knew I knew that's not gonna last because we've had multiple inflatable pools and the kids they're rough on them. Uh, and again, when I brought it back, I started looking at it. We never got in that thing when it was plugged in. I ran it, you know, demonstration. And uh, maybe I did, shit, I can't remember. Did I do it with the bubbles one time? My kids definitely didn't get in that pool. The kids and the old lady never got in there with, uh, with it hooked up to the, you know, plugged into the wall. So why did I just demill it? Because if I just throw that thing in the trash, They'll, they'll figure out a way to, to resell it. They'll put patches on that thing. They'll try to get that thing to run it again as cheaply as possible, and they'll sell it to the next dude. So I don't want that on my conscience. So anybody, if they do put that particular unit back together and, and you buy it, well, I, I, you know, I can't help you anymore because I, I screwed it up. But I don't want anybody else... Uh, you know, to potentially be injured by by something that I passed on. Therefore, it got demilled. Now, the swimming pool thing, we'll we'll probably give that to somebody uh, with some kids or whatever. They can just fill it up and use it as a regular swimming pool if they want to go through the time and effort to to fix the holes, fix you know, deal with the patches and fixing it up. Uh, that's just not my cup of tea. And plus, it'll just get another hole anyhow. I'll pass it on to somebody else who has time and the patience to patch the holes so so there you go um, my conscience is clear because they can't put that shit back together and sell it on to the next guy who might not look at the switches as, and be as worried as I was so there there you go 
What's the moral of the story? Don't buy a secondhand inflatable jacuzzi in the Philippines. It's just the way it is. They're gonna as quickly and cheaply and easily get that thing to work in where they can present it with uh, with the hopes that you're gonna buy it. They don't give a damn if it's wired properly, if there's silicone around them switches where they don't leak, they don't give a shit. They're just trying to get that money and get paid and and here you come so I hope this was a learning lesson uh, for everybody out there now look I'm not taking anything away from the safety of the product because obviously it's been engineered and approved but I still don't like it I don't like the, the thought of sitting in an inflatable hot tub that's plugged into the wall and with the potential of reaching over there with wet hands it's just a not, not a product uh, that I'm comfortable with. Um, and it's a pain in the ass to clean. The little filtration system is not powerful enough, in my opinion, to keep the thing clean. So you have to clean it after every use. It takes forever for the thing to warm up, which is just burning electricity. So great I great product in theory but really not in in execution that's my opinion everybody has their own opinion if you're a homeowner buy you a real hot tub that that really works uh, that does have a filtration system where you don't have to clean it after every, every use you can put chemicals in it like a swimming pool uh, that's my opinion so you know if it's something you're gonna use once take camping whatever and Hey, whatever, I'll never tell anybody how to spend their money. I can only tell you my experience with the inflatable jacuzzi. Folks, thanks for being here on my channel. If you're not a subscriber, the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, somewhere right in there. If you would, hit that Overstay Road sign, subscribe to the channel. When that bell pops up, I want you to ring the bell like Rocky. Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. I just knocked out the second-hand jacuzzi pump that was rewired. I'm the champion. <laughs> just subscribe. I certainly appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by tonight. All right, folks. Peace out. Love to hear your comments down in the in the in the, the comment section, especially for my electricians. Hell, maybe I just destroyed a perfectly good pump. I don't know. But the fact that those switches could leak down in there, seal the deal, had to deep six it, demill it, put it out of commission, mission accomplished.